Stitches Costa Rica. I'm Karina and this is Floss Tube number 13. Today is Tuesday 27th of July and thanks if you are recurring, a recurring viewer welcome back and if you are new this is a uh, cross uh, channel of cross stitch and some crafts. Welcome. Um, well yesterday was holiday in Costa Rica. The original date holiday date is the 25th of july okay but because of this uh, situation to move the holidays to the next monday in order for the people to have a free day from work then yesterday was a holiday was free uh then for all the costa rican people happy 25th of july and i hope uh, you enjoy with your family and you have time to know maybe take a rest or make a small trip and maybe stitch I don't know now I know this is a cross stitch channel but I would like to say a little bit about the 25th of July because this is a an historic holiday that is only for Costa Rica it's not all the part of the world that celebrates anything in that day well they may be they maybe can celebrate other thing but not the same thing of us uh, and Christmas is starting to cry. Hold on. I don't know why, you know, she cries. Um, then I wanted to explain a little bit what is the 25th of July. Costa Rica was part of Spain, as you know. And from Mexico to Costa Rica, we have our independence at the same time, basically. We were, Costa Rica got the independence in 1821 and Guanacaste, which is one of our provinces, uh, um, decided to be part of Costa Rica in 1824. And this is what we celebrate. Let me try to explain really quick. I'm putting a, a, a Costa Rica's map there. This is a, a province map. We have seven provinces. The purple one is Guanacaste. This is the name that we give to the province right now. See, Costa Rica is small, and look at how big chunk Guanacaste is, okay? Guanacaste is beautiful, beautiful beaches, um, beautiful people, food, folklore. We have a lot of folklore coming from there, okay? And um, before our independence and everything, that area that is now is called Guanacaste had was divided in three parts, if I remember correctly. And um, they were part of Nicaragua for some time, part of Costa Rica sometimes, independence sometimes. Then after the ind independence, um, they make, let me see if I pronounce correctly, because I never used this word in English and I check and it was plebiscite. Plebiscite is when you, when a government uh, or a group of people call everybody for to make a vote and say yes or no um, about something. And then they call everybody and they said, okay, we who wants to be part of Costa Rica? Do you want to be part of Costa Rica? And basically the people voted yes. Then, you know, sometimes Costa Rican people will forgot, but this is very important because these people decide to be part of our country and become us, Costa Rican, part of Costa Rica many, many hundred years ago. And that was territory that we don't have to steal from anybody. We don't have to go to war. We don't have to kill anybody to get that chunk of, you know, beautiful land. They decide to come and live with us and be us, be Costa Rican. Then that's very important. We don't have to forget that never, ever. And, um, of obviously, there is a bunch of stuff, historical stuff in the middle. Uh, even the first uh, date that we uh, know as the annexation of Guanacaste, I hope it's called annexation of Guanacaste, to our territory was uh, the 25th of July of 1824. The entire process to be 100% sure and everything confirmed with treaties and everything took, took like 10 years, okay? And... It's so incredible how much folklore is coming from the area. Uh, the music, I'm putting there a small photo of our marimba music, it's beautiful. Um, food, uh, the uh, folk uh, dances and dresses. I'm putting a photo over there of a nice couple of kids 
it's beautiful to see small kids dancing folk dances and i remember when i was a child there's nothing more like they were very excited these dates this kind of days like for instance 25th of july and also independence day when they used to dress up with these um folk um clothes and we dance and you know you know girls you don't use when you have four years old six years old you don't use makeup but oh my god for these kind of dances you have to use makeup your mom will uh you know fix your uh face and they will put uh, always like nice flush uh, you know bra uh color in your cheeks and obviously a nice lips could be with red or really uh, strong pink all the time with the flowers in your head oh my god that was so excited then that was a happy 25th of July I think it's a very important day that Costa Ricans we don't have to uh, forget by the way I'm putting a photo of the shield of the province and if you see down below it has a phrase in Spanish it reads por la patria de la I'm sorry de la patria por nuestra voluntad if i translate and i am pretty sure it has more meaning in spanish for us that probably i can transmit the same meaning in english but if i translate in english it would be for the country by our own will that will be the, the translation that's very important extremely important i think then that was a really brief information about 25th of July 25th yeah 25th of July in Costa Rica besides that has been raining like crazy and honestly today I had a meeting a job meeting in the other side of the um, city and exactly when the meeting finished the sky opens okay the sky opens and it starts raining like crazy you know this a phrase is raining cats and dogs where today cats dogs cows horses the entire nose arc and i was driving it was difficult to see these sewers were not giving you know they were not enough the water was coming out the the corners of the street were they floating and even it was not enough to turn your car off or be scared you have to drive really carefully and slowly and try to guess <laughs> that's bad to say but try to see where your tires are going because the problem is it's because all the water you have to drive you have to turn and you cannot see what your, your tires are on top of what the, the tires are and i have to say i'm so sorry we have so many beautiful things amazing things but our roads are not our pride then i was like praying and say god please you know Take my will, help me because I want to arrive in my home at my peace. And I did, thanks God. But it was heavy rain. And I feel because I feel because there are some areas of Costa Rica that are, are experimenting floods and landslides. And I hope they are not too bad with this rain of today. Okay, besides this crazy bubbling that I had, <laughs> I hope you enjoy a little bit our story and whatever I'm saying. Thank you. Uh, I will give you a brief update of what I uh, was teaching in the past this past week and I have an FFO well what I have FFO the last time I show you my FFOs for of the 12 and 21 ornament stitch alone I show you the jars the magnet jars that were for January February March and April and remember that because I changed my ideas with the Christmas bubbles I am a little behind, but I'll be soon in accordance with the time. I took my two uh, first uh, bowls and I make one FFO. And this is what I end up. This is the candy and this is the owl. I hope you can see it good. I'm not using the light of the pedestal, you know, today because I think I have to recharge and I don't have chance right now. And then using, I'm using a secondary light and I don't see how it goes, but look at, I'm so, I'm so, so, so happy with this. And I have to say, okay, remember that I changed and I first do the white part. I later add the color part. Then I add the beads on the bottom, yellow beads here. No, I'm sorry, 
blue bit, bits here, yellow bits here. And this is the deal with this. Originally, my idea was put the two faces together and uh, sew it together uh, from the back and then turn it. Not possible. It looks like, but it's not possible. And let me tell you why. This is a small. And the beads make the piece really stiff. And you cannot turn it. It's impossible. Mm -mm. If you try, you will break the beads and it will be a mess. Then, okay. Okay, go back, Karina. Do something different. Then I separate it again. And I decide to do this. Now, I put, uh, I sew with big uh, stitches around in order to hold two pieces. And I decide to put this ribbon ar uh, around. I'm using the one I showed the other day that I bought in AliExpress, this one. Now, this is more a what you like or not. What is happening with this specific material is that when I use glue gun, hot glue for this, and I put first a little piece and I check. And I saw this material, when you use that glue gun, which is hot, it shrinks and corrugates. If you don't like it, then you can use other material, other kind of ribbon, or maybe you want to stitch it instead of glue it, or um, I don't know, it's whatever you want. In my case, honestly, I try and I saw it shrinks and corrugated and I like it. Then I decide to go ahead and have it like that, corrugated, you know? And it's, 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 it's stiff and, and, and around. And I like it. Then, as I'm telling you, that's your decision. Oh my God, hold on. Okay, let's see if now, I'm sorry, let me move this. Let's see if now Christmas decides to stay quiet because I just put it on the bed. Um, okay, then, as I'm telling you, I like it, like, you know, shrink like that or corrugate it if you want to say it but if if you don't like it you can change and do it differently now i fill it up and the funny thing is oh of course i put this cord uh, i put the cord with a glue um between the two pieces and then i close it with another part of another piece of ribbon here and here now what i what i used to fill it you know what i used Orts. I fill it up with orts. A nice way to use them and not to waste them. Of course, I won't be able. These are 12 figures. Uh, then there will be six ornaments. Uh, of course, this will not uh, will be enough for the six of them, but I will use them. And as when I finish, I will use something else to fill it up. But I think the final piece is so nice. I like it. Guys, what do you say? What do you think? It's nice. Now, I already start. Then this one is May. And I'm behind, but I'll be. Um, I start the other two already. Here I am. Um, this is the bell and the glove. Okay? Now, this one is almost done. Look at how small piece I'm, you know, is pending. Then I only have to put the color thing this is going with red and green and this is going i don't know maybe purple or blue i'm not sure i don't know why i was thinking in purple and orange that's like fedex colors no yeah but purple and orange i like i don't know i i didn't decide i'll put the color on the sign the beads and then i will ffo in the same way and i have to start the other two because this one these two are june and then I have to start July and I'll be on a schedule. <laughs> but this is my FFO and my advance for the next one. Uh, this is really nice. And um, it's, it's, it's a lot of stitches. Yes, it's, it's, it's a lot of stitches, but um, you know, it's, it's not taking too long for me. When, when, when I sat down and I start one of these in a weekend, I can finish it. The thing is it started. That's the point. Okay, what else? I also stitch. I make a little bit of 
progress on my cute girl. I'm putting the um, original design there. And for the ones that are following me, you know I finish spring, summer, and I am on uh, fall. And the last, oh my God, here like that. The last time I showed this to you, I had the, the head of the girl. Now I start all the, uh, I start a dress. I hope to, uh, I would like to finish this week the full piece, uh, the full part of the girl, but I don't think I'll be able to finish, but I will, I will try to progress a lot on this. The other thing I did, and it's not too much, is my Christmas in Quill from Kore Wati Kore. I'm putting the design there. This is the piece. Okay. And what I did in this case, hold on because it's giving me trouble, is this part. This part all around. This is it. Okay, there's something, it's something, yes. And the last piece I work on is my garden party. Do you remember? This one, I love those animals, okay. Garden party, I had a little star here. I'm putting a photo there. That was how it was the last time I show you. Uh, as you see, it was right the corner, like a little bit of brown of the corner. And I was working a lot this weekend on it. And this is where I am now. Um, I they Basically, what, is, what you saw in the other photo was this little part over here. Then I uh, finish all that dark corner and I start the yellow flower and the purple flower and some leaves. I think it's, it's looking so nice. This is... White, uh, white antique Ada, 18 count, okay? And if I remember pretty well, I bought this Ada in, no, yeah. It was by internet, it was at Everything Cross Stitch. Yeah, I bought this Ada in Everything Cross Stitch, same as the pattern. And I have to say that I check and I don't see any longer this pattern in Everything Cross Stitch. I check in Google, I didn't see it. Uh, I don't know if it's out of print or what. If somebody wants to stitch this, this is full coverage, it's big. It takes 87 different colors. Yeah, 87, guys, 87. But I think it's, it's worth it. I really like it, mostly if you have pets. And this covers a lot, you know, like dogs, different kind of dogs, cats, different kind of cats, rabbit, and even a... a butterfly huh. then if somebody maybe check because I tried I had been checking and I don't see it any longer I don't know um, then that was my quick update of the stitching and a little bit of story and uh, what story history you see uh, my Spanish brain thinking um, and my FFO which I am so proud I'm happy then thank you so much uh have a nice weekend stitch a lot um be safe what else i can say to you and thanks to be this time with me and come back again and you know help me in your computer phone home work i don't know where you see me but thank you so much uh and i hope to stitch a lot oh oh oh, oh hey forgot forgot my plans I three things I am about to start or start in some way. One thing is the 12 houses of old forest embroidery, the the old uh, free old free 12 houses the signs. I don't know, my brain's confused. Um I have well, I checked the floss, I think, was the EDMC, and it, they have all the numbers there. And I decide that I am going to try these uh, floss that I bought at the Easy Stitch. 
that I bought the packages for a very good price. Um, then I already checked that out. I have the pattern, the fabric, and all the floss. I already separated from those packages the colors I'll be using. Then I'm really ready to start. But I hope to start with my friend Mauren in the first week of August. The other thing that I wanted to start is Butterfly Clutch. I'm putting there um, the uh, design. This Butterfly Clutch is from Hello Liz Matthews. This is a big giveaway I won, and I plan to do to use for first time silks and use the silks I bought the last time. Then I have to sit down and check a little bit the colors, but yes, I'm, I'm using the silks I bought from China. And um, the other thing I start is in one of my first floss tubes, I show you a big amount of, a big amount, yeah, really, of pillowcases I have with old um, embroidery from the grandmother and the great grandmother of my daughter. And uh, I wanted to make something with them and save them. Then I'm starting to classify cut separated start fixing the uh um, places where some uh stitches uh disappear or maybe got loose um i'm working on it yeah and something else you know what you remember my yoda pattern let me put yoda pattern over there i have the entire floss on the way on transit and i have the fabric already I want to start Yura. Then, too many things on the plate to start. But okay, now I'm not delaying more. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.